Hey, what's up, guys? It's Gatekeeper, and welcome back to another spooky episode of Corpse Party. When we last left off, uh, something happened. I don't honestly remember. It's, uh, it has been a hot minute since I played this game. I'll tell you what, Bobby. I sounded more like Elvis than Hank Hill. <laughs> Okay, god damn it, I, I waited too long and god damn it. Stop! I don't want to watch the stupid intro. Doesn't even work. Chapter 2, continue. Yes. I'm gonna do. Uh, I believe it was this one. Yes. Great. Gameplay will resume from save location. Okay, if you'll say so. I don't even remember where the fuck I was going. What's up here? Is there spookies? They're locked. Door seems affixed like a model can't be opened. Well, gosh darn it. Okay, woof. Volume. Volume needs to go down a bit. Like, uh. I don't know, let's go like 60. That's, that's more reasonable. At least I can hear myself think now. Uh. Wanna go the east way? Nope. Can't go that way. Well, what about up here? Is there spookies? Hello, dead body. Hey, we got another name tag. Uh, Byakudan Senior High School. We got Ryosuke Katayama. Kitsami. Kitsami. Sounds like a delicious kind of sushi. Did, did you hear a voice just now? Yeah, I heard it. I wonder what happened to him. I don't think he died. Just a wild guess. <laughs> I get the feeling he was surprised. I think he died quickly and suddenly. How could you possibly know this? I mean, unless, it's, unless there's like a giant bash wound in the back of the skull. In that case, I would imagine you'd probably be able to, you know, put two and two together. But that's just me, and I'm a little stupid, so. And moving on from that monstrosity, what are you? Got the victim's memoirs. Okay, I don't, I don't remember this. I'm writing these mem memoirs with his sticky hand, hands. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to pronounce it. As it is typed, because I'm just I'm gonna go insane. I'm writing these memories with sticky hands, but it's not me that is sticky, but something else I hope you're not mad about this. Maybe you will think I'm a horrible E person, but I got hungry again. Really hungry like I was about to die, so I, I did something I shouldn't have done. I promised myself I would stay sane, and promised myself I wouldn't do what I did. And I am so, so sorry. Really, really sorry. Really sorry. What is going on? <laughs> There's no excuse for what I did. With my bloody hands, I took the thing that I'd been squishing, and I put it in my mouth, and I swallowed it. Late it? Oh, I ate it? Okay. Is this Mr. I stole an eyeball, dude? Did he eat the eyeballs? Is that him going crazy because uh, his memories are all fucked? Hello? I gotta take shit. Is there, Mr. Is there Mr. Magoo in the end here? Is he here? Is he here? Oh, he's here! Hey, buddy! Shut the goddamn door! Okay, God. What the fuck? Hey, did you just hear that crazy voice? What? I didn't hear anything, but we're definitely not alone in here. Yeah, because I'm not sure. We should leave this room right now. Okay. Okay. One second, let me take one more look. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Can I go take a shit now? Ah, let's get the fuck out of here. It feels weird being in the boys' room. Okay. Great dialogue. Let's get out of here. What about in here? Did we already... I don't remember. Did we do this thing? I... Does this look... This sounds familiar. This seems familiar. 
It's been so long since I played this, I genuinely don't remember. W what's this? Probably should have, like, watched the episode again. The last episode. Hmm. Seems stained, but with what? I don't know. Dead ghost juice? Almost like a, a person. Somebody... Somebody died here. I can hear her voice. Ooh, spooky. No, no, please, don't. What, what's wrong? Oh, Jesus. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, let, me, let me just get out of your way so you can go wash your hands. Go right ahead. Don't let me stop you. Mm. I'm sure this will this will end Boy. very well for our our two friends here. Whoa, <laughs> that was weird. Oh, whoa. Okay, okay, okay. I get she's freaked out and all, but did you have to put the panty shot? I mean, for fuck's sake. I mean, Japan. What are you doing with yourself? I mean, normally this would be hot as shit if it weren't a spooky game, if it were just like a, I don't know, some sexy, uh, cute screw girl that is over 18, uh, uh, dating sim, shit would be fucking sexy as hell. But not in a spooky demon school, okay? Cut it out. Oh, it's Naomi. Okay, bye. Shinozaki, where the fuck are you going? Ah, God damn it all. The hell's going on around here? See, okay, she's moving for me, I guess. Alright, what's all this? Hey! Are you alright, Shinozaki? You good there? All you had to say was no, give me a second. You didn't have to go with the dying old person sound. I think she's fine. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just give you a second. I'll, just, I'll come back. It's fine. Okay. Exits this way. Okay. Bye. Bring me more. You'll do whatever I ask of you. Whew. I don't like the spooky music. I don't care if you're innocent. You're listed as buried alive, aren't you? What? They're mine. I'm sure as hell not sharing with the likes of you. I think she's doing okay. She's just, uh... Just, uh, her blood sugar's a little low. Clean up is a real pain in the ass, too, you know? Have some pity, for God's sake. Don't you nanny me? What the, what was all of that? <laughs> you, you mind rolling that back a little? Tell me who and or what was in your brain? As it sure as fuck wasn't you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what is up, Ayumi, you tell me. <laughs> uh, not much. Fight it. Mm, it's real good. Stop it! Sounds like I'm going to take a bad poop. Stop, please. Mm. The, ow! Ow! Uh-oh. I believed in you. Are you still possessed? Why doesn't anybody listen to me? What the hell are you talking about? I don't understand a single word you're saying. Funny, funny joke, huh? Yeah, it was really funny. 
<laughs> Did you hear about the one about the priest and the rabbi who walked into a bar? No? Yeah, okay. I'll see myself out. Bye. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh. Hello. Ayumi. You okay there? You okay? Ayumi is staring at you as if transfixed with an unnaturally wide smile stretched across her face. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I, I did, it wasn't that funny. It wasn't that funny, okay? You're fine. That poor girl. She's lost her mind and she'll never get it back. <sighs> Possession is a frightful thing. To have your thoughts pushed deep down into the pit of your soul and someone else's take their place. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a really good time. So what do I, do I just, like, <laughs> do I just leave and hope that she just, you just give her a second? I'll try that and see what happens. She knows Aki. I shouldn't just walk away from her like this. But, man, I'm really scared of her right now. I wonder what did this to her. Well, like, who did this to her? Oh, boy. Kishinuma! Kishinuma! Uh, uh, crap. Ah, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> What's all this smoke I see? Get the hell out of that stall right this instant. <laughs> you fuck you, but you're my real dad. Heading a tobacco again, were we? Uh, well, uh, no, sir. <laughs> Bullshit. Didn't I warn you what would happen if I caught you smoking again? Expulsion, that's what. Thanks, Teach. I'm sorry. Sorry I'm gonna do shit. Bing, ding, dong. <sighs> You're a real problem, child. You know that? Why do you even come to school in the first place? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't fucking know. <laughs> Disowned by your parents. Living on your own. Got no friends. Never go to class. How does he... How, this is like high school, right? How the hell is he living on his own? Does he have a job and shit? Damn, dude. Just because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fits and raise a ruckus all the time, mister. That's mister, mister to you, like the band. <laughs> You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. I mean, school is bullshit. School's bullshit, but you stay in school, kids. Stay in school. Also, uh, don't forget to eat your drugs, stay in the homework, and get eight hours of school. That last one didn't make, did, like, it actually still worked out. Fuck you. <laughs> don't poke holes in my logic, in my flawed, misconstrued logic. It's not like you're trying to get into college. With, what, with your home life as it is, the thought probably never even crossed your mind. Uh-huh. Okay. And, so uh, we're just going to just gloss over the fact that Ayumi is possessed by Satan. I wish I could ask your parents what they think of having a no-good kid like you in the family, but they've never once shown their faces around here. <laughs> Not since the very first parent-teacher conferences we ever held. I wonder if they'd be embarrassed. I mean, it is him. <laughs> uh, my parents are not exactly proud of me, shall we say. Yeah, no shit. Uh, that's not what I mean. I'm thinking of the big picture here. They're clearly just not good parents. I mean... I mean... If I have kids of my own, you'd better believe I wouldn't be half as lax with them as yours obviously are with you. <laughs> Problem is, people are having kids when they're way too young. When did this become all preachy? <laughs> and before they become proper adults, they're popping out babies of their own. And bad parents raise bad kids. That's why there are so many brats like you in this world. He's right about one thing. 
There's no reason for me to stay in this school. It really is pointless. I should just beat the crap out of this jackass. What the fuck, dude? No wonder you're like a deadbeat loser. <laughs> Jeez, dude. <laughs> People think as long as they pay school taxes or tuition, they're good mommies and daddies. Well, newsflash, <laughs> they're not. <laughs> hmm, what's with that look? You're gonna beat the shit out of me? I've never hit a teacher before. Eh, well, first time for everything. Just, boom, just fucking destroys him like anime style, his face caves in. <laughs> that would suck. Miss, Mr. Tsubata? Tsubata? Hubata? Tsubata. That was a good joke. Huh? huh? Well, if it isn't the class rep, what's up? Sup, fellow kids? Eh, the vice principal is looking for you. You're needed back at the staff room. Huh? Gotcha. Thanks. Hmm. Shinozaki, you've got great eyes, you know that? Back off, creep, stranger danger! <laughs> Always so clear and focused. <laughs> I'm gonna go to prison. <laughs> I'm a creep. So that's all I'm getting from this dude. We instructors like your kind best of all. Oh my god, stop. Just stop, dude. No. Just no. If you ever have a problem, you come talk to me about it, okay? <laughs> that guy's the worst. Also, at least you're smart and realize that. <laughs> yeah, thanks. You're not really any better. Huh? The fuck you talking about? I didn't want to deal with you. I mean... Nah, I don't want to deal with you. I had to think about it, but him, he didn't give any hesitation. So, you were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? No. <laughs> what a sad fate it would be to get kicked out of school over a pathetic excuse for a teacher like him. And you'd regret it later. You know you would. No matter how much of a pain in the ass it would be. And no matter how you think it'll turn out in the end. Just stay in school, man. Bite your tongue and make it to graduation. So get your shit together. So slap it. <laughs> to Gayumi, chill. Honestly. <laughs> stiffle, stiffle. What? Why are you crying? What the fuck? Like, what the fuck? I didn't even do anything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whenever I give an impassioned speech like that, I always find myself tearing up a little. Oh my god, just stop. Just, no. You're Kishinuma from Class 1-5, right? Yeah? What about it? Who the fuck wants to know? I'm Shinozaki from Class 1-3. Sorry to have butt in like that. Uh, don't worry about it, I guess. Later. Bye. Hey. When you told when you told them the vice principal was calling, <laughs> I was lying, of course. Oh my god, you're so bad. Okay, bye. When we gonna get back to the spooks? <laughs> spooky, spooky, scary. There's the spooky, scary. So yeah, What was with the tappy taps? I never actually thanked her for what she did that day, for crying on my behalf. And I swore to myself as soon as I realized we were trapped here. Uh oh. Why did my fucking thing just randomly went kablooey? You good? Come on. Come on. Go back. Go back. Come on. Fucking Xbox controller like unpaired. Come on, baby. You could do it. You could do it. There we go. That's better. Did I protect her no matter what happens? Is she gonna come down the stairs all like, I'm a spooky ghost? 
This must be a test to see if I really meant that no matter what happens part. Uh, why the hell are you doing this? Answer me. And you mean... She don't... Oh. Whoa. You've got to be kidding me. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. Something tells me he's not good. That's not a good sound. That's not a sound you make when you're in... Uh... A good, good, good uh, physical condition. Oh! Stop it! Get rough! Get did I fucking? What did I? I what? Why did I? Why am I dying? Oh God! Stop! I'm already dead, lady. Back the fuck off. Or she's just gonna stand over me. <laughs> okay. In addition to multiple, multiple, <laughs> multiple broken bones all throughout his head and neck, Yoshiki's rib cage shattered on impact and pierced his lungs. Ooh. Ooh. That sounds like it hurts. As he convulsed and writhed in an ever growing puddle of his own blood and internal fluids. Ow. His vision hastily grew dark. The last thing he saw... What are you gonna do? Don't. Was a figure with a wide, empty eye... With, a, with, with wide, empty eyes and an unnatural smile stretched across the length of its face. Rocking slowly back and forth in admiration of its handiwork. Ayumi was clearly very pleased with herself. Oh god, don't. I don't like the darkness. I'm not a fan. Well, what in the gosh dang diddles? Gosh dang titty sucking Christ. Uh, do I want to? I don't know if I want to save. Eh, I'll see to a new slot, I guess. Or I guess I don't have a say in it. Well, freaking balls. Well, what the hey? What the hey? Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to figure out what to do, cause I don't fucking know. Shit. I have to figure this out. I'll I'll be back. I got I gotta like watch a thing. I gotta find a video walkthrough or something to fucking. I don't know to, to deal with this. I don't freaking know. We'll see. I'll be back in a sec. Oh God! Stop! No! 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 Okay, I'm back. Uh, turns out uh, I missed a very crucial thing at the very beginning of the chapter. Uh, before uh, the teacher even does literally anything, I gotta go down here and get a thing. So remember that that glowy purple thingy that I couldn't grab? I had to get it as the teacher. That's why I couldn't get it. It's the power stone or something. Hmm? There's something here. Apparently this thing is so important. If I don't get it, everything's fucked. Apparently. I guess. I don't know. The crystal, shining with a faint purple glow, is nestled amongst the debris on the ground. Take it? Yes, please. Acquired Power Stone. Spooky. So now, Miss Yui. I think that really was a scream we heard. Hmm? Did you find something? No. I just found some crystal meth. Yeah, some kind of gemstone lying on the ground. Looks like a ruby, or... No. Probably an, an amethyst? You know, they're almost identical. One's red, one's purple. It's so hard to tell the difference. I mean, I can't, so I mean... Shit's crazy, yo. Kishinuma, you can identify gemstones? Any person with a brain can be like, that's clearly like an emerald. 
that's green. Then again, I guess like you know, technically like like my class ring, my fucking eh, my high school ring. I don't know, it might go out of focus. Is uh, it looks like an emerald, but it's not. It's one of those fakey fake science made fake gems that looks emerald ish. Cause it's cheap. I liked cheap. But <laughs> nah, not really. Shinozaki's the one to ask for that kind of stuff. Is that so? Well, then, maybe I should give it to her. Uh, yes, I need to give it to her. Otherwise, I fucking die at the end. So, yes. But will you take it and give, her, and give it to her once she's calmed down a bit? It might make her feel a bit better. No problem. Hand it over the power stone. Sweet. Okay. I'm going to save my freaking state. Oof, that lag was... <laughs> okay. Hello, Mr. P-Bucket. Is it still a P-Bucket? It sure is. The interdimensional piss bucket. Thank God. What would I ever do without you, Mr. P-Bucket? Uh... Alright, so... So, all, okay, so I believe that's the only thing I gotta worry about. That was the only thing, so I'm going to skip way the fuck ahead to, uh, I guess the part where we left off, I think? I don't know. I'll skip ahead wherever, I guess. I don't know if anything's gonna be different. If anything is different, I'll like, put a, I'll put a little thingy in with the, with the help of movie magic. So, whoosh! <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm back like 8,000 years later. So, I got that stone. The like, power crystal, power gem, power, whatever the fuck thing it was. The thing I didn't get at the very, 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 very beginning, which I didn't realize was crucial. That cutscene earlier where I was in the hallway, little stairwell place, uh, I'm doing that from the girl's bathroom now, where we found that weird shadowy thingy. Uh, very spooky. So I don't know if this will be any different. Here's hoping, because I've redone the entire goddamn chapter. Especially the part where I have to run from the creepy fucking ghost tongueless boy demon child. <laughs> fucking hate that part. I hate it. <laughs> yeah. Right, I swore to myself, so we just I just watched the thing again where the he was taught he was that cutscene where the teacher caught him smoking and all that shit. But I triggered it in the bathroom now. So, okay. This must be a test to see if I really meant that no matter what happens part is the exact same dialogue to a different place. Sayumi. Oh, here's Sayumi. Here to save the day. Why the hell are you doing this? That's on me. Please don't kill me, Shinozaki. Don't you kill me. This is different, okay. Please, come back to me, Shinozaki. We're going to find all our classmates and get out of this horrible place, okay? There's no reason, no reason for you to stay like this. Oh, my sweet. Don't kill me. So. Warm. Ayumi, now's not the time for getting all hot and bothered. You got shit to deal with. Okay, something's going on. Kishinuma? Where? What? Shinozaki, you're, you're not possessed anymore, thank God. I almost shit my... No, wait. No, I did shit my pants. Well, uh... <laughs> oops. Eek! Whoa, whoa, don't you break my ribs, please. Ow, is it you? Are you back? Huh? From what? To you? Are we good? Are we doing good? Please tell me we're doing good. 
Okay, I'm like this so far. So what you're saying... Yeah, so far all the corpses we've found in here have been people we've never met before. Okay. We're just gonna completely glance over the fact that you fucking, um... Just like, you know... Went all batshit crazy and uh, threw me down a flight of stairs, punctured my lungs, and slammed my skull apart in another dimension in a past lifetime. Completely glazing over that. Moving on, aren't we? Okay, just, just trying to you know point out the elephant in the room here. Excuse me, I'm just the one who had my ribs destroyed and my brain went t to jelly. So. Forgive me for wanting to chime in on this, Ayumi. So, uh... <laughs> and the next thing I knew, I was in your arms, and you were squeezing the life out of me. Well, you were, you were punching the life out of me earlier, so... Payback! <laughs> Couldn't you just say hugging? No. Someone close to us, huh? I really hope that just this once. Your intuition is wrong. Damn, dude. But I could feel all her pain. I was freezing cold, except my throat was so hot. It felt like it was on fire. And then I voided my- Ah. Oh. Uh. Ew. Ew. Did you ha did you, did you, did you have to say that, did you? absolutely feel inclined to say that about oh god mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I voided my bowels lovely and everything went dark no matter how hard I struggled my arms and my legs just wouldn't move on account of the furious shit that I've unleashed. <laughs> oh god. I wanted to yell out, Help me! But I had no voice. I was scared. And the pain was so excruciating. Yeah, I've, uh, yeah, I've had a... Uh, I've had that Taco Bell aftermath. Believe me, honey, I've been there myself. I'm the master of the Taco Bell aftermath. Calm down, Shinozaki. Jesus fucking Christ. Get your shit together. That wasn't you. You're still alive. For now, at least. Fuck shanks her. <laughs> Real plot twist. <laughs> Sniffle. I know. Do you, though? Do you, though? But, you know, do you, though? <laughs> well, we've searched the whole building. Miss Yui really is nowhere to be found. Hmm. Maybe we should uh, head back to the classroom. Yeah, that's probably best. No Satoshi or the others, though, either. Hmm. That sucks. Okay, are we going? We're going. Okay. Uh. I don't know if this is gonna fuck anything up. I believe I'm on the right track. Theoretically. You know what? No. I'm just I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it all and save over the, that that last save state. I'm probably gonna come back and regret all of this, but who fucking knows. That being said, my friends, uh, the recording has gone on for over an hour, just because I had to literally play the entirety of chapter two again, so that's fun. I'm gonna turn this uh, to there so I don't have to hear that damn music anymore. Jesus Christ. But uh, yeah, I am gonna go ahead and end this episode here, guys. I need to get to sleep because I got work later tonight and it's uh, almost 10 o'clock, which is like my bedtime. 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I work nights. So yeah, fun. But uh, yeah, I am gonna go ahead and end this episode here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And don't forget, do not forget to pick up the power gem as the teacher in the very beginning. Otherwise, you're going to get thrown down by a, a scary ghost girl possessed by Satan himself. Get your ribs completely pulverized. Brain turned to muffin juice. I think my brain is turning. <laughs> Having a little bit of a stroke. It's fine. Keeps, keeps the day exciting, you know? 
But yeah, don't forget the damn power crystal. It is super important, apparently, and I didn't know it. I, I'm stupid because I didn't. I didn't even think. I was like, "Huh? Oh, how come I can't get this purple thing?" I figured maybe I'd get like a, one of those grabber arm things. You like you squeeze the thing and it pinches the thing on the end of the stick. You know, you just like I'm gonna get you. Here we go, got the gem. There we go. You know, no, I was wrong. Apparently, Japan doesn't believe in those things in this game. That would have made it a hell of a lot easier if <laughs> Yumi was carrying one of those in her pocket instead of thirty thousand candles. But what can I say? I mean, a little late for that. <laughs> Hindsight's a hell of a bitch. That's like the best thing you could have brought into this school, Ayumi, is one of those grip gripper grabber things. <laughs> you know, the one, put up the picture. Those things. If you don't know what I'm talking about by now, go back to school. You need to start over again because you're stupid. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Please don't take any of this in any seriousness. <laughs> if you didn't graduate because of whatever reason... I, I'm not judging you, <laughs> okay? Don't please don't don't take it that way. I'm sorry if I if it was perceived that way. Apologies, good sirs and madams. I don't, I don't give a shit. Anyway, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye bye.